Abby, a majority of those who spoke today say they were opposed to this proposed rule. They ranged in age as well as education level, but there were also a few who spoke in support, saying there is a real concern over what's being made available in school libraries. We should not give material that is inappropriate for younger kids in the schools because they are not able to digest it. That whole issue is a phony front to turn America into a theocracy. School libraries in the spotlight once again, this time because of a new rule the state superintendent, Ryan Walters, looks to put in place. It states that any school district found to have pornographic materials or what the rule calls sexualized content available to minors could have their accreditation status downgraded. It's like subjecting all kids to someone else's ideology. You don't like me to subject you or your, your kids to my ideology, why should my children be subjected to your ideologies? No matter how many hours I have spent in a single school library, I have not once stumbled upon pornographic material. I have a four-year-old niece. I love her to death. And I completely trust the librarians in every public school. Those against the rule dismiss the claims, arguing that Oklahoma already has plenty of procedures in place to make sure books are appropriate. Supporters argue more protections won't hurt. I also want to ask, is a public school library the only place that parents or children have access to these types of materials? Can parents receive these materials in other places and allow their children to have access to them? They can't. And at that point, it's between the parent and the child. It's not my job to change the standard for one person. And with public comment now over, the state board will vote on this newly proposed rule, but that vote has yet to be scheduled.